Hello Info person, this is Anton and today we're going to discuss a somewhat intriguing mystery in regards to missing stars, or technically stars that vanished. They used to be visible in some of the older data and then suddenly disappeared. And we finally have at least one explanation with very good evidence coming from the Andromeda galaxy possibly explaining what happened to some of them. But first, I guess, so let's establish what the mystery here is. Here, this is based on a slightly older study we've discussed in one of the videos in the description, a study that describes a project known as VASCO, vanishing and appearing sources during a century of observations. A study that was based on observations from 1950s, comparing them to observations from today, where stars mysteriously vanished. And so here, based on very detailed observations from 150,000 different candidates, Researchers definitively identified 798 objects, with the number actually going higher in one of the recent studies, that definitively disappeared without any trace and without any explanation. And intriguingly, one of the potential explanations that was kind of going around was that maybe these became Dyson spheres. In essence, this was a potential sign of possibly some kind of a type 2 civilization covering the star and extracting its energy. But obviously, that's a very far-fetched explanation, and so many different scientists try to figure out what else we can actually do here in order to discover what really happened. And while technically, to date, there is still no explanation for most of these disappearances. But a few months ago, there was actually one study that possibly explained the disappearance of some of these stars. And here the assumption was that many of these stars potentially just collapsed into black holes. But obviously, this needed evidence. And that evidence was not very easy to discover. And so back in May of 2024, scientists potentially discovered first binary system with a black hole and a star, where the only explanation was that the star collapsed into a black hole in order to produce such a perfect star system. You can learn about this in one of the previous videos in the description, but this provided us with first piece of evidence that these collapsing stars could possibly exist. And interestingly, there might have been a previous suggestion that these objects exist, from a slightly older observation back in 2014. This is actually the object you see right here. And so here, several papers propose that we're observing what's known as a failed supernova. This was actually a supergiant red star, approximately 25 solar masses, that was part of the galaxy known as the Fireworks Galaxy. And it's actually called that because of constant supernova. But approximately a decade ago, this unusual object that was supposed to go supernova didn't. It completely disappeared leaving behind a very faint infrared glow. And so at first it wasn't actually clear what's happening here, with most studies proposing that this was indeed a failed supernova. But unfortunately, the most recent observations from the James Webb seem to disagree. Here the observations in the infrared seem to actually suggest that this is a merger of two stars that resulted in a very bright object in the middle. You can actually learn about this in one of the recent studies in the description. And so this was not the evidence for the failed supernova hypothesis, which unfortunately took us back to not really knowing how some of these stars vanish. But intriguingly, a much closer galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy, finally provided us with the best possible example, with the most recent study by Kisha De and his team exploring all of this in detail. And so here we had a hydrogen depleted supergiant star that was technically supposed to create a core collapse supernova, usually referred to as Type 2. Here this is a star known as M31 2014 DS1. And for some reason, back in 2014, it started to become extremely bright in the infrared light. And so for approximately three years, its luminosity was more or less the same. But then, between 2016 and 2019, it started to fade dramatically. And by 2023, it was practically invisible not visible in the optical light or in the infrared. In essence, it seems to have completely vanished. And based on additional calculations, here the scientists determined that this used to be a star that was about 20 solar masses when it was just born, and it was approximately 6.7 solar masses sometimes in 2012. And so in theory, this star should have actually exploded and potentially resulted in a neutron star. But it seems to have disappeared. And it also seems to have left an ejected dust shell, suggesting some kind of a small explosion or a miniature supernova. It just there was no optical outburst, which is usually what happens with type 2 supernova. And this of course suggests that, well, first of all, we might not actually understand supernova that well after all. In other words, there seem to be some exceptions to the rule. 
For example, the decline in luminosity for three years suggests that the star in this case was actually decreasing its nuclear reaction, which eventually led to some kind of a failure and some kind of a collapse. But the question is exactly what happened. And this study potentially provides one explanation. Today, based on all of the analysis of other supernova, we understand that generally, inside this really dense collapsing core, a lot of electrons and a lot of protons start to combine into neutrons and also produce an enormous amount of neutrinos. And this process of neutronization actually happens everywhere where there is some kind of fusion. That of course includes our Sun. But inside of these collapsing stars, the density increases so much that a burst of these neutrinos can carry up to about 10% of the entire star's mass in an enormous outburst referred to as a neutrino shock. And though most of the time, including actually right now as you're watching this video, neutrinos pass through us without really doing anything, when their density becomes super extreme, they can and do deposit energy, hitting everything around them and of course generating a really large shock wave. And what looks like neutrino shock in this case could possibly explain what's happening. Usually, as this neutrino shock advances, it eventually reaches a stage when it kind of stops. This is referred to as the stalled shock. But in many cases, it then re-accelerates and continuously expels the outer layer of the supernova, eventually destroying the star and leaving behind just a tiny remnant. But in some cases, looks like it just stalls completely with the entire shock wave eventually collapsing back. And so in this case, Instead of having a supernova, we basically end up with just a tiny shock wave, but most of the mass then collapses back into a black hole. Which is actually what the scientists believe happened here. In this case, the researchers believe that only about 2% of the material escaped to the outskirts, which is exactly what's visible today, but 98% of the mass, or about 6.5 solar masses, collapsed into a black hole directly. And so based on this model and based on this explanation, this could be an extremely common phenomenon that we've just never really seen before, or at least never really confirmed until now. And technically this could have also happened in the Firebox galaxy as well, despite the observations from the James Webb suggesting otherwise. As a matter of fact, the survey of 27 separate galaxies by the Large Binocular Telescope revealed that 20-30% of stars that usually go supernova can potentially end up as these collapsing black holes, or as these failed supernova in essence suggesting that this is a completely new type of an object or a new type of a stellar finale, somewhat different from your typical supernova and basically always producing a black hole. But this can only be proven and confirmed by using a multi-messenger approach or basically by studying these in very different wavelengths. Here we're talking about infrared, optical, x-ray bands and possibly even radio observations just to actually see what's happening here and if this is indeed how a lot of these stars seem to vanish. And so in a nutshell, the explanation for many of these vanishing stars, or at least some of those 790 stars that vanished previously, could be that they just became black holes in a very similar way to what we just witnessed in the Andromeda galaxy. And since we now have actual observations, it basically implies that any stars more massive than about 6.7 solar masses could in theory disappear completely, turning into black holes no supernova necessary and possibly leaving almost nothing behind. But obviously, this doesn't explain all of the stars, mostly because many of those stars were very likely much less massive. And so the disappearance of those other stars is still entirely unclear. On the other hand, we don't even expect so many stars to go supernova in the Milky Way, and so only a handful of these stars detected in the study previously could possibly be explained as failed supernova. Either way, still a pretty exciting study and a pretty exciting discovery coming from the nearby Andromeda galaxy and something that we'll discuss more in some of the future videos once there are some additional updates. On that note, check out previous videos in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.